Hi, I'm Jim Stout here with another edition of Tips and Tricks for the Phantom X. In this segment, we're going to talk about the mixer screen and the real-time control knobs. So let's take a look. When you press mixer on the Phantom X, the display shows you all 16 parts at once, as well as level, panning, effect sends, and solos and mutes. Now, there's also a second display in the mixer window when you press F6. This display shows you output routings, transposing, and keyboard arpeggiator and pan assignments. Back in the main mixer screen, the four real-time control knobs of the Phantom X can be used to control four parts at a time. So this means you can mix four independent levels at once, or four different pan positions at once, or four different reverb sends, or four different chorus sends. Now you can select four parts at a time by using the F7 and F8 keys. So by pressing F8, I'll select the next four volumes. F8 again, the next four, and so on and so on. And I can record all these movements directly into the sequencer. The four real-time control knobs on the Phantom X are what we like to call page dependent. This means that they'll edit any parameters that are being currently displayed on the screen. So you can edit envelopes, LFOs, filters, and even the effects. So I hope this segment has helped demystify a little bit of the mixer section and turned you on to a couple of new cool ideas. So until next time, I'll see you on Tips and Tricks. Thanks.